with HubDoc. So uh, HubDoc is a, uh, when you're entering invoices uh, and receipts, uh, one of the things that people do is they manually enter it into the system and they don't keep, uh, you know, PDF copies or receipts. So one of the things that we do is we use a software called uh, HubDoc. HubDoc is also owned by Xero, but it can also be used by other accounting softwares as well. So what it does is you will have a mobile app uh, or you have your own dedicated email address. And so what you're able to do is you're able to take pictures of your receipts and invoices. And if you're receiving invoices via email, you can forward it on to HubDoc, which will then organize the uh, receipts based on names. Um, it also integrates with Google Drive. So if you, for example, wanted to save some of your documents in Google Drive as well, uh, it will do that for you automatically. So in this example, uh, we have a GoDaddy uh, receipt. So as I mentioned, you'll have your mobile app or you'll have your designated email address. You forward your receipts, your invoices to that email address or you take pictures on your phone and then it will come to HubDoc. What HubDoc does now is it uses optical character recognition to then take some of the information from the invoice uh, onto, uh, to be then pre-populated. So here you can see uh, the supplier has been, GoDaddy has been extracted, the invoice number uh, has been extracted and the date. Uh, when you're, and then you can see the, the currency, the amount and the tax rate. And then you have destinations. Now, destination doesn't have to be zero. It could be the other accounting software that uh, are cap compatible with uh, HubDoc and the others are Sage and QuickBooks as well. So what it does here is it, you would then enter the information that you want to then, this document to then be extracted into, into zero. Now, um, one of the things you want to just keep in mind is as soon as you've done this one type of invoice once, um, HubDoc uses machine learning to then remember what, how you would have coded it the previous times and then it will automatically pre-populate it. So I'm going to do a working example now. So I'm going to show you how quickly this then goes into zero. So I'm going to give it a due date. So let's say, let's put uh, today's date, for example. Um, I'm then going to put the status as authorized. Uh, the contact is going to be GoDaddy. And remember, once you've done this for the first time, it will then remember this the second time. Uh, where, sorry. Description. And then I'm going to select publish. As soon as I select publish, you can see here the two. So now it's gone into zero. So if I go into zero now of this uh, dummy account, if I select refresh, here you can see it's come straight away, instant, instantaneously. So if I click onto that bill, you can see here that it's taken the description that I've just entered, website subscription, it's got the, the from, it's got the date, the due date, today's date, remember we wrote that down there, it's got the tax rate, and then it's got the amount, and here you can also see the, the file as well. So the good thing about this is when you're reviewing accounts and when you're, you know, when you're providing real-time reports to, to, to management or to the business owner, if they want to drill down, they can actually go down to the actual receipt. Um, so that's the, the thing that is quite good um, with that. 